Sorry, Mr. Speaker. It took me by surprise. There was no more debate. <clears throat> um, to debate in favor of the bill, this is most definitely a compromise bill. Uh, I can't say it's a great bill, as some of my colleagues have, but certainly it could be worse. And I appreciate the good efforts of the gentleman from District 22. I applaud him, in fact. As he had a task that I certainly would not have chosen to undertake. Um, I'm a bit confused because as I've been listening to the debate back and forth through the session, I thought uh, generally that this was about taking care of what people were referring to as the working poor. And now we hear a lot of debate about uh, being, people being upset because we're going to ask these people who come to the state with their hands out asking for their neighbor's money to work or to volunteer or to do some other simple task that maybe will help themselves get a little further ahead. So I'm not going to uh, try to compare sad stories. I'm not going to talk about the inequities of, or unfairness of life. Uh, but I am going to talk about a couple points of the law that I think are important that I haven't heard discussed. And it seems to me that we're ignoring the, probably the first and foremost issue that we should be debating, and that is how this particular bill is, is consistent or inconsistent with our form of government. So the first point I want to talk about is the money situation. I, I'm sorry that I can't buy that this is going to result in any savings. I think this is going to be um, a, a financial black hole for the state uh, that we may never recover from once it's fully implemented. But the real issue is who pays and where does this money come from? So in the best case scenario, we're told that 10% of the money will come from Idahoans from the fruits of their labor, these hardworking people who take care of themselves and produce and pay the taxes that are going to be called upon to fund this program. The other 90 percent, we're told, is coming from something referred to as federal funds. Well, I can tell you that there is no such thing as federal funds. Congress has two constitutional ways that they're authorized to raise revenue. One is through taxation and the other is borrowing. Uh, anybody who understands our current monetary uh, provisions knows that federal funds today are actually created money. Congress has no authority to create money. Money doesn't grow on trees, but it is incubated and hatched from a computer. So not one nickel of this so-called federal tax money that we're saying is going to come back to Idaho, in fact, ever comes back to Idaho, as is the case with every state. When the money for the federal tax is collected and sent to Washington, it's sucked out of the money system <clears throat> and, uh, re and removed from circulation. And new money, every penny that will be sent to Idaho to pay for this program will be new money, which creates an additional burden on our national debt, which will contribute to our detriment, to the possibility of hyperinflation, and in fact has caused actual inflation. The other issue I want to address is this notion of the will of the people. And I, when I talk to different people, constituents and colleagues, um, I get different meaning or ex explanations of what that term actually means. So um, I think that the majority of people that I talk to would say that, well, that means majority rule. And that's democracy, sometimes refer referred to as mob rule. And when the will of the people says that the state can use the force of law to take money from our neighbors and give it to someone they think needs it, that's socialism. And socialism and democracy are antithetical to our constitutional republic. And I reject both of those, <clears throat> both of those notions. My oath of office demands it. My constituents have made it clear that they expect it. Nevertheless, I will vote for House Bill 277 because it pairs some of the socialism from the alternative, and it tempers the sting of democracy that threatens our republic. And I ask you to do the same.